Good day everyone and welcome to the next tutorial on using Delphi Quick Report. My name is Larry Vincent. I'm the head of software development and data visualization from my personal website rbenchmarking.com. It's still in development, so I'm shifting my career to web. So yep, thank you. And let's get started. So for our tutorial today, it's just a very simple one. I just want to demonstrate to you how to use the Delphi and Quick Report component to build a very simple report. For my setup here, I'm using Borland Delphi 7, WAMP Server, SQL Yog, Quick Report for Delphi, and a MySQL uh, Northwind database. So I hope you have all of this ready so that you can easily follow along. All right, let's get started. So for today, what we're going to do is that I'm going to demonstrate to you a very simple example of using the Quick Report within the Delphi programming ID. So to, to start with, I just want you to have the following configurations or you can follow along. So I'm going to create a simple application here. So I have the main form. So basically this will be our primary form. We will just use one form for this one, but you can always apply this one in multiple forms later on within your project. But right now I just want to make it very simple as much as possible. So the way I always utilize this one, I'm going to utilize a data module at the same time. A data module. And then uh, before I proceed, let me just save the project because I always want to save my project before I continue with my uh, programming or before I start. So here, uh, let me see. Uh, Delphi quick report so that one would be should I say this is the first form so this is the report form unit 2 would be the data module and then the project itself so right now I'm using our database configuration I'm also using Aside from the quick report, which is our third party component, I'm also using the MyDAC component. So, in this instance, I'm just going to rename these things. So, and configure root server localhost. I don't have a password for this one. So, I just want to disable the login prompt so that it will not keep on popping up. And my database is the Northwind database. As you can see here, I'm using my SQL log, so I have a Northwind setup here. So you can always utilize uh, this database, the MySQL version of it. This is uh, Northwind, supposedly popular in the Access database, but there's one converted in MySQL. So what I will display is a list of products in our report. Okay, so just opening that one because I need uh, field names for that. So in here, I have the connection and we're going to add another data set. So let's see, QRY report. And then let's activate the connection. Nope, I'm sorry. I think what we miss. Oh, sorry. We do that one in the code. The connection is here, all good. Now we go back to our form. We'll just rename this form very quickly. For in report, then now we're going to use my uh, uh, sorry quick report. So in a quick report, one of the most important considerations that you have to look into before you start is the quick report library. So it's actually very used, but it has a lot of versatility in terms of. Uh, its capability so there might be a lot of programming involved but to this particular example this one I'm only utilizing query for it so I'm only utilizing the data set but we have to add this quick report component so this is the very very important uh, component in the quick reports so what will I do here so as you can see this is what we call uh, we call this one this is well this is the quick report component and it has different bands so within the quick report you will see in the properties there's actually bands in here 
Now, if you enable one of these bands, it will appear here. So let's say, for example, we'll have the page header. So if your report has a page header, so let's say, for example, uh, you might have to, have to include date printed, for example, you can do that one. So let's see, uh, let, I'm not sure if we have that here, but uh, you can do more, most of these things actually. Uh, I think this one says the time. Yep, it generates the time automatically, I believe. Yep, date time, see, okay. <coughs> Position now. Aside from that, you can also enable another band. Now, we are just going to do a simple report. Let's say we want to display the list of products. So we are going to add a title. So the title in here, we can add the other components. This is the QR label. This is the equivalent of our regular label in the Delphi form. So you can simply replace that list of products. Okay, you can adjust that one. You can make it bold the same way as you are trying to do this one in your regular uh, uh, form so you can actually uh, alignment this one center and then now what about the data that will be displayed the products so that's that will be placed in another band called detail in the detail this is where we place the value of the corresponding field that we want to be displayed based on our data set now we are looking into the list of products to be displayed now let me just reduce this a little bit because the size of the detail band is also the distance of each text that will be displayed so normally we're going to add here the qr db text so we'll just utilize three uh three what do you call this Three fields in here to be displayed. So QRDB text, uh, let's just say product ID. So I have to have the data set here. So, oh, we don't have a data set, so we need to use unit the data module. Okay, so display, yep, that's the one. Then remember, we don't have the field, but we can type the field here. So you just have to take note the name the correct spelling ID product code and product name that's the fields that I'm going to display here so let me add one more here all right product code product code and then rename that to let's see product code another one would be the product name all right product product name just give me one second sorry okay now is this good enough not yet we're not yet done now how do we trigger the preview of this report now that is just your layout basically so you can reduce that one to do this one you can move using the arrow keys reduce the band using the shift and the arrow arrow keys up and down now how do we display the actual code and we're not yet done we are going to trigger this report when the form is loaded so we have to go to the form event on show so in here we're going to utilize let me just change the name of our data module to dm just to shorten this one just to shorten this guy let me just do this dm i really don't want to type the full name so during form show we dm dot qry report to begin so let's just set okay let's just do the usual this will configure our data set i'll just go directly to this one okay so once you have the data set configured you have set it to true now the name of your quick report is normally quick rep one so what we will do is just do the quick rep one dot look for the property preview and semicolon 
and let's see if this will work save and run What happened there? Let me do something. Let's see. This is the detail. What did I miss? Let's try. Let me do. The data set. We forget to set the data set of the quick report itself to the our, to our uh, quick report. All right. So once it's done, you should be able to display all the products and you have the date and time at the top and very easy so that's a preview and yeah that's it if you have any questions just let me know okay so much for listening everyone i hope uh, you have learned something today if you have any questions don't hesitate to contact me and those following emails i'll be happy to answer your questions or you can write them in the comments below thank you and have a good one